people of the internet. It is time for another edition of Let's Play. The question is, what are we gonna play? <laughs> Hello everybody. For those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Rhea. I do a whole bunch of things, but I'm really, really interested in gaming and makeup. Today we're going to run another edition of Let's Play. I've done a couple of these videos, um, but the big one that I most recently did as of the publishing of this video is one on Child of Light. It celebrated its 10 year anniversary. Actually, I think it's still celebrating its 10 year anniversary, but it came out in April of 2014. So my husband and I played through it in a previous video slash vlog slash playthrough. So if you want to check that out, I'll link it somewhere below, or hopefully if I'm smart, I will remember to put it in the cards. We are bringing up the PS5. And by bringing up, I mean booting up. I don't know why I say, said bringing up. I've been curious about Stellar Blade, which came out with a demo. And I know John played it the other day. He said that he was enjoying it and that it was good to play on Korean. So we're gonna see, hmm, yeah, text language, English, voice language. Oh, there's a Korean. I guess there's no Japanese. Let's do English for the text language. I'm not really big on English voice acting in a lot of these games, but let's do English just so that, I don't know, this could either go really well or go really badly. <laughs> We're gonna do English and English for this. Um, if I do end up coming back to this game once it's no longer a demo, maybe I'll see if I can change my settings. I'm sure you can. Oh, okay, so the save data ends up syncing if you end up playing this after the fact. Just looking at this right now, the <laughs> this is a really boring opening screen. That being said, once again, this is a demo. I don't have super duper high expectations for demos and stuff. I'm assuming that this is, the reason why this is up is because they want to keep the art a secret until the actual launch date. I actually know nothing about Stellar Blade. I just know that it looks very cool. I. I think I saw the trailer during a State of Play earlier this year. For those of you who don't know, State of Play is the preview event for Sony PlayStation. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the write-up is for this. Okay, this is a single player game. Third person perspective play. Combat focuses on grasping the attack patterns of enemies and countering with precise timing. Eve's beta gauge is filled by parrying and evading in combat. These are all things I'm bad at, so this will be fun. She has a burst gauge filled through successive parries and combos. The beta gauge is spent to use skills such as piercing super armor and enemy combo interruption. The overworld has NPCs who can provide Eve with side quests. Okay, what's interesting is John, my husband John, played this the other day. John said that this probably wasn't going to be my kind of game, which is interesting because I definitely am a hack and slasher, but also I can already see how he would think it's not my game because there's a lot of complexities around how to parry, how to fight, how to level things up. I tend to be a bit more of a let's get to the point gamer, which is why I thrive on games like Tetris and Mortal Kombat because the reward is relatively more immediate than some of these games. I don't know, we're gonna see if this is actually something that I enjoy. For the story, humanity is driven from Earth after a losing war against alien invaders called Nitiba. To reclaim their lost home, Eve and her squad are deployed from the colony to fight the Nitiba and to take back Earth. Eve meets a survivor named Adam who leads her to Zion, humanity's last surviving city on Earth. She then makes contact with the elder Or- Orkle? Sounds like a whale. <laughs> and establishes relationships with the residents of Zion in order to fulfill her mission, or sorry, further her mission to save humanity and reclaim Earth. Okay, so this is basically one of those like aliens versus people, humans kind of thing. All right, demo screen, you got two options. You got new game and you got settings. I've already dealt with the settings on a very uh, shallow level. So let's just get right into it and hit new game. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit Normal mode. <laughs> okay. Loading. Loading. Transmitting final briefing. As oh, of now, okay. Airborne Squad 7 will exterminate the Alpha Nativas occupying Nativas. Their objective is the capture or dispatchment of the Elder Nativa. <laughs> These rocket ships look like tampons. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I 
I, I don't know if I, or rocket ships. I don't know if I like these ships. Okay, it's not, now it just looks like a tampon blimp. All right, very good. Okay, all right, ooh. As I do more of these, you will learn that I'm quite slow when it comes to figuring out what's going on. But I don't let that stop me from gaming because I feel like everybody, like gaming is a space where everyone should be welcome. And I also just really enjoy being exposed to the technology. Gaming for me is a way to enjoy art, relatively modern art in the context of technology and computers and whatnot. I definitely am appreciative of art in this form, but I am no, in no way a professional. This is definitely, wow, there is a lot going on here. This kind of reminds me of a couple of scenes from Edge of Tomorrow or all you, it was called All You Need, the book was called All You Need Is Kill, but this definitely gives me the beach vibe when they're fighting on the beach. So this is interesting. Whoa, okay. All right. Dang. Zero seven five three one. Pod landing complete. Removing physical shield. Opening hatch. Hatch. Come on. Come on. Wow. Eve, are you all right? This place is dangerous. You don't say this place is dangerous. So I'm already not a fan of the voice acting. It's over dramatic for me. I don't like it when people go like too above and beyond in their voice acting. It just feels like too much. This is some magical girl shit. I don't remember a lot from the trailer, so this is this is cool. Okay. Take the left. Okay. So we're fighting. Oh, press square for a quick attack. I'm also a button masher, and that's just a symptom of having played so much Mortal Kombat for so many years. Um, so I tend to just not read <laughs> tutorial instructions. I'm also directionally challenged, so when they give stuff like 400 meters or like northeast, anything like northeast, west, and south, I'm extremely, whoa, I am extremely challenged by. So, okay, X to jump. This is giving me very Edge of Tomorrow, like Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt on the beach vibes, and that looks like a Demi Gorgon from Stranger Things. Uh, sir, L1, oh, they're gonna make me. Oh, that's just mean. I can't quite figure out the timing on that, but whatever. Okay, it's stuff like this where I'm like, oh, hold L1 and press square to use the beta skill. Okay. This is the parry stuff that I was reading about. Okay, so L1 and square. Your what? My body frame. Let's go for this guy. Ooh. I'm a big fan of rush buttons because I'm extremely impatient. I am also getting my ass kicked right now. Just because I like playing video games doesn't mean I'm amazing at them, so you're gonna notice this a lot as well as we do more of these videos that I'm not like the best video gamer. People like really piss me off with that kind of thing where it's like, oh, you have to be such an amazing gamer to like be online or stream or blah, blah, blah. You know what? The whole point of gaming, it's very much like the movies. Gaming is all about escapism and just having a good time and everything in moderation, right? Do I have any more potions? I do, okay. I'm not here to win any awards for my gaming. I'm just here to have a good time. Okay. Whoa. I am very overstimulated by all the stuff that's happening here. Whoops. Is that an Alpha Nativa? Let's join them. We're gonna join the Nativa? Just kidding. Eve really likes to hold her shoulder in this game. She's wearing a tie. Eve. <laughs> She's wearing... <laughs> I just love that she had like the wherewithal to wear a tie to a fight. I mean, I get it, I understand it. I will say that I am enjoying the character designs. 
Oh, okay. All right, let's go. Okay, so the parry skill is L1. L1 and triangle. I love the design of the meters. Oh, I just died. Sorry, I was, I was, ooh. It wasn't an alpha, but it was a strong one. You fought well, even better than during training. You were all together, but then. <laughs> The damage to your body frame is serious. Body frame. Okay. So I get the vibe that the outer components that are not her physical body are the body frame. Wait, Eve. I hear something. Yeah, I do too. It's my heartbeat in my ears. Oh boy. Eve, are you alright? Uh no. Of course she's not alright. The design on this Alpha Nativa is unreal. Holy Batman. Wow. One of the things that I'm an absolute simp for is wing design. And while I find her to be one of the most irritating in Mortal Kombat 1, there have been some wing designs for Natara that have been just on another level, but this actually may take the cake. This, this is pretty wild. Oh. Yeah, I kind of figured this was going to happen. Antithesis for her success. Eve. Get out of here. Ducky! Wow, okay. Okay. Okay, so here's what I think of Stellar Blade. First of all, it is a beautiful game. That was actually a lot of fun. The art is stunning. It's beautiful. You know what? It's funny because my husband said this is probably not my kind of game, but I'd actually play this. I wouldn't get it at full price. I think if it were to go on sale, I'd probably try it. And this is probably something I would just like on the weekends casually play. I do like that you can go back and look at instructions because for somebody like me that needs to relearn instructions over and over again, it's really useful so yeah I actually really like this game Eve looks really cool I still think it's funny that she's wearing a tie but you know what mad respect I love the fashion I love the choice I love how the characters look so the dialogue I obviously chose was in English the captions were in English the voice acting was just okay there was a bit of overacting especially with tacky at the beginning but I understand some people try to do drama through overacting and like that to me just felt a little overacty overall for like giving the demo a try, there was a lot there. Um, I was just overwhelmed in a positive way by the environment. I felt pretty much immersed. And I think just rating the demo, if I were to give it like on a scale of one to five, I think I'd give it four, four and a half. What I love, the art direction. I love the gameplay. I love that for people like me, I can go back and look at moves and figure out what to do. Yeah, this is actually something I would go back and play. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you want more videos like this. Actually, I'm starting to really enjoy these more than vlogging. So I think this might be the route to take with this channel because it's just a lot of fun. I don't have the capacity right now to stream. It's something I would like to do in the future. But for me, this is just something that allows me to keep my editing skills sharp and to enjoy video gaming as a hobby. So yeah, let me know what you think. If there's another game that you want me to try playing this game made my day. And I'm, I, I can't wait to see what I try next. Thanks so much for watching and for checking the channel out. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.